Hey everyone, welcome back to this episode of Cart Crazy. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to do your very own lithium conversion using a bigbattery.com battery. I'm Jeff, welcome to Cart Crazy. So there is constantly a ton of chatter on the internet and on Facebook about lithium conversions and which battery to buy and so on and so forth. I'm going to show you what I do and this is just probably the simplest way to do it. Uh, you're welcome to change things up a little bit if you'd like, but um, it is super simple. It is not complicated at all. Um, this is what they call the Falcon Elite uh, from BigBattery.com. It's going to come with everything you see here, the hold down brackets, uh, the charger, and your Anderson plug connector with your positive and negative lead. Now, I recommend also purchasing an additional Anderson plug and a couple of studs off of uh, Amazon or at your local uh, auto parts store, positive and negative stud. I'll show you how to use those in just a minute. And also buy the gauge. Uh, that doesn't come with the kit with the Falcon Elite, but I think it's literally like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something. I don't even remember. It's very affordable. Uh, and also the extension lead for it, which I already have in the cart, and I'll show you that here in just a second. So let's jump over to the cart. So this particular cart is a 2012 Club Car Precedent. And uh, I'm sorry, this might even be an 11. Nope, I'm just looking at the serial number. It's a 12. Okay, so 2012. They're the same from 2008 and a half uh, all the way through. They still make them. They call them a villager now, but it's basically the same cart. This will also work on a tempo or an onward with your traditional lead acid batteries. Um, so we'll just say that you've removed all your lead acid batteries and this is what you're left with. Now I've cleaned this up considerably and done some things here and you're welcome to do that or not do that. It's not gonna affect the performance of the battery or the cart. This is just personal preference at that point. There's also a lot of talk about, do I remove the OBC, do I unplug it? And when I say OBC, that's onboard computer, and that's this guy right here. Okay, so super simple. Don't stress about it, don't worry about it. On this particular cart, I've actually removed the original factory plug, which was under here where your charger would normally plug in. Now, you don't have to do that to do this conversion. On this one I am, but I'm just showing you. These literally unplug from the back, okay? So if you take this one screw out and lean this forward, your OBC plugs in there and here, and that's it. You pull that out. I've seen people do all kinds of stuff with taping stuff up and you know soldering and everything else. Not necessary, just pull that harness out of the way if you don't feel comfortable um, leaning this forward and getting into that um, mess of wires back there, you can literally leave that plug in and you can just cut these wires and black tape the ends off. It, like I said, it is super simple. So let's pretend you've got all your batteries out and you've either cut that or removed that. Now you're ready to drop your lithium battery over on this side and hook your charger up. And there's a couple of ways you can hook the charger up and I'll show you both and you can decide which one you want to do. Alright, so the kit comes with these uh, four L-shaped brackets. You may need to mount them this way where you have the longer slot uh, on the base or this way where you have the shorter slot. I, I'm trying to remember on this from the last one, I think one side is better this way and one side is better the other way. We'll have to experiment with that a little bit. But that way, once we drop the battery down in, we can just run some screws down through the plastic and we are good to go. Then, it's just a matter of setting your battery down in. Like I said, I may have these brackets wrong, but we'll find out here in a second. And you can kind of slide it around in here and position it the way you like. About right there is where I'm comfortable. And I think we should be good. 
Now I'm going to use these as my battery hold down. That's probably a little overkill, um, but you could probably be half of that length, but that's what I have on hand. So um, we'll use those, run those in. Those are self tappers. So now you can see I've got my self-tapping screws through the supplied L brackets and of course the battery's not going anywhere at that point. Now we'll jump over to the other side and install our studs for our positive and negative. I did want to mention one thing I did on this cart. This was the original positive cable. You can see how corroded it is and we don't need it that long. So I actually cut mine and crimped a new end on. Now you may not have a crimping machine, so you might not have that luxury, but um, you can certainly clean yours up with a wire brush if it looks cruddy. Now I'm going to take and mount my studs. With some self-tapping screws. Now, they offer a couple of different gauge wires. This is the one that comes with the battery, and that's a six gauge wire. I opted to upgrade to the four gauge wire. I think it was a couple bucks more. I'm gonna use that one for the battery over to the studs, and we'll use the secondary one for our charger. Then it's just a matter of connecting your Anderson plugs to your existing studs that you just put in. There, we are literally installed and ready to go with the exception uh, of our battery gauge. Now, of course, I've done some preliminary work and, and some of this is done ahead of time. If you want the gauge mounted in the dash, um, like I've got here, what I did is I made the hole bigger from the existing battery gauge so that this one will snap right in there. Whoops from the existing battery gauge so that this will snap right in place after I plug my wire in. Of course this card I've got tore apart because I'm doing some other work on it and I'll wrap that in there a little better but then these uh, wires would come back and go on your post as well. I recommend putting a fusible link in there just in case those wires were to ever rub through. Now you're thinking charging. How am I going to charge this? Well you can literally open the seat and plug your battery charger in right here like this and then have an extension cord or you can do like what I'm going to do on this cart and I actually took the original um, port out and I will make a bracket and I'll have the port uh, underneath the seat somewhere so that way you don't even have to lift the seat to charge it you can set the charger on the floorboard and charge it from there so uh, after you put it back in the run position. You'll click your uh, battery back on. There's a circuit breaker right there. You can see the voltage come up. Turn your key on. See if we're in forward. 
There you go, just like that. This lithium conversion, uh, obviously this one's a little easier because I've got some of the stuff tore down, but you could literally do this uh, in an hour or two, even if you're unfamiliar with electrical uh, in your garage at home. So just wanted to show you all that. Well, there you have it. It's just that simple. Um, I know I went through this kind of fast, uh, and I kind of did that for a reason, just to show you how simple it really is. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to uh, drop a comment below or message me on Facebook at Cart Crazy. Uh, you can find me there. Also, if you're looking to do a lithium conversion and you want to save yourself some money, uh, head on over to BigBattery.com and use my promo code STEGI10 and save yourself 10% on your entire purchase. And you too can be rolling in lithium in no time. I'm Jeff. We'll see you next time.